All right, the grand finale, we've got uh, Sophie on with New Life. So come on the stage and give Sofiane a hand. Hi everyone, I'm Sofiane, I'm the founder of New Life. Um, before starting the presentation, I would like to talk more about the why. Because uh, uh, as you know, we are moving towards a world that will be fully automated and uh, creativity is very important. That's where the human has the most value. Creativity is being expressed a lot in uh, IT in programming, we have a lot of innovation in this area. Uh, but when it comes to uh, culture, I think it's also very important to bring culture on the blockchain because a lot of value can be uh, tokenized. And so uh, that's where um, we are focusing with, uh, with, with the project New Life. So what is New Life? Um, so we are an AI-driven social commerce. Uh, built on the blockchain. We are targeting the fashion industry, which is mainly um, made of women. Women are not only important to have on the blockchain for a question of diversity, women also happen to drive 80% of consumer decision in the world. So if we want mass adoption, it's very important to have um, industries that can drive women not by offering pink coins, but by offering actually a use case for blockchain. So what's the problem? Um, the web is becoming more and more creative, more and more visual. Uh, people spend less time reading text. So visual is very important. And Instagram is actually taking over. Instagram is, a, is an amazing business. But Instagram has big problems. The first one is that According to surveys, users are more and more hostile to advertising. If you look at each generation, you see an increase uh, in uh, hostility towards advertisers. And what's the plan of Instagram? Increasing advertising. Now you see it everywhere on the stories and they have uh, increased the amount of ads and it's not gonna get better. Uh, another problem of Instagram is that the demographic filters don't really understand the way demographics work today. Uh, geographic, demographic doesn't make sense anymore. We have global villages with people uh, sharing the same culture across the globe. Uh, if you look at the EOS community, we come from all over the place. It wouldn't make sense to target uh, men between 24 and 28 in Paris uh, because each Parisian is different and so we have to understand those global villages. And finally, users expect rewards. Everyone is going pro. Everyone uh, wants to live from their creativity, from their art. And so according to studies as well, and I think we can see it everywhere on the internet, users want reward. And finally, uh, the Instagram uh, database has about 8% of fake accounts run by robots. So what is our target group? Uh, we are going after uh, 18, 29 years old women on Instagram who are fashion students, art students, so people very creative, very visual. Um, and our marketing strategy is delegated content production, so uh, uh, oper content operations run by Instagrammers, uh, partnership with brands and uh, viral mechanisms like refer a friend. So the solution to uh, the problem I, I mentioned at the beginning is uh, to have a model without ads and without fees. So there was an attempt to uh, disrupt Instagram with a monthly fee uh, model, and it didn't really work. Um, we need to actually include e-commerce into the equation. Why e-commerce? Because matching products with ads is very difficult. It requires a lot of uh, algorithms and a lot of technology, while in fact, the Instagram users could be the ones selling their creativity. And so we are building a model where micropayment trickle down to the whole community. And we are using blockchain to mitigate spam by introducing staking, so in the same way as Steemit has staking models. And finally, we are using AI for recommendation because I don't believe in like and follow uh, for reasons that I could elaborate if you want to discuss. So to make it more simple, what we could say is that we are to Instagram what Everypedia is to Wikipedia. 
So uh, we are rewarding users for contributing to, uh, to the ecosystem. Uh, so the market size is about 5 billion. Uh, the, let's say the uh, avant-garde fashion or the uh, typical uh, uh, target brands. Our business model is based on redistribution of value. So when someone purchases a product, uh, the value goes back to the community, which allows us to run it completely without ads and still having an ecosystem that's highly monetized. So our token model is based on staking. So if you know EOS, you understand this uh, dynamic. It's the same as Steemit. So we have different participants in the ecosystem and all of them have a different incentive for staking. So if you are a normal user, you are uh, getting what we call new power, which is the currency that replaces followers. And you want to keep your new power, so you're going to stake. As a customer, you, you will stake to get a uh, better price. Uh, as a curator, you will have higher uh, curation reward. So it's very similar to, uh, to the Steemit model, but with an uh, e-commerce dimension to it. So our team is made of uh, fashion and art uh, experts and programmers, from mainly from Europe and US. And uh, our roadmap, so right now we are launching the new version of our, the mobile app on the App Store. Um, we have reached about 5,000 users and we are planning to scale to 100,000 users by the end of the year. Uh, we are adding more products, so we have partnerships with uh, retailers who work with young fashion designers. And in December, we are planning to launch a big uh, influencer campaign on Instagram. So to summarize, uh, we are targeting the users of Instagram with no ads, no fees, and with incentive. So you don't have to watch ads, you don't have to pay, and on the top of it, you get paid. So that's our main value proposition. We are able to uh, achieve that thanks to um, the token model. And uh, so we are going after the... Uh, 2 trillion uh, fashion industry and uh, using the EOS uh, blockchain to mitigate spam and to have a proper reward system. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening and let me know if you have any questions or we can meet after uh, if you want to talk. <laughs>